Hello everyone, today's focus will be on the football overhand throw. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to state the qualitative components and be able to perform a football throw correctly. Now let's take a look at some of these great NFL throws. Alright, now that we've seen the football throw performed in a real world setting, Let's continue by breaking down the skill by component. There are seven components to a great football throw. First, you should have the ball placed in your dominant hand. Next, you're going to want to put yourself into side orientation with your opposite shoulder facing your target. Third is taking a step with your opposite foot. This will be your left foot if you are a right-handed athlete. Fourth is bringing the throwing arm back followed by rotating through the shoulders and hips to generate power. Sixth step will be your football release. And finally, a follow through with your throwing arm crossing over your body. Here Aaron Rodgers has the ball in his dominant hand. He has also established side orientation with his opposite shoulder facing his target. Here Robert Griffin has shown that he has taken a step with his opposite foot and brought his arm back behind his body. You can also see his shoulders and hips rotate and open up to face his target. This photo depicts Tom Brady releasing the football and you can see that his arm continues to go forward while he follows through. Here we see Cam Newton of the Carolina Panthers with side orientation before throwing the ball. His shoulder and his eyes are facing his target. We see him take a step with his opposite foot, bring his arm back, rotate through hips and shoulders, release the ball, and his arm goes across his body to finish the motion with a follow-through. So now it's time to get out there and practice your throwing mechanics. 